if you stick to it, I can't see how how you can fail. It's just, it was just so so simple. When I, when I started um, towards, towards the end of the summer, um, yeah, I was I was conscious of my weight. I was conscious that over the last. 18 months, two years, what we've, you, you know, locked down and working from home a lot, my weight had gone up. Um, and it was it was affecting me when I was going out. It was playing on my mind. I knew that, um, you know, I knew that I was overweight and, you know, I did, didn't like what, what, I didn't like where it was going. Um, and it did, it did affect me mentally, just my normal, day to day um, you know everyone wants to feel good about themselves or half decent about myself and and uh, you know I, I knew that I was I wasn't my, my best and it, it, then it had a kind of a knock on effect with everything else um, yeah I was just kind of, I was kind of going, going down a path that I that I was I, I didn't want to be and I was thinking you know, if, if the last two years were anything to go by, in two years' time, it's not going to be a pretty sight. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I was feeling. Well, I, I feel comfortable opening up to you. You know, I'm a. Uh, it's not so that I find easy. Um, you know, I'm a typical. Essex lads and, uh, and me opening up to feelings and all that kind of stuff and emotions and how I feel it is really not not me but I felt comfortable talking to you um, and I thought you know what I'll give it a go what's, what, what, what's the worst that can happen being totally honest probably didn't think it would be for me but I thought I'll give it a go there's only one way to, to find out um you know, if you, you, don't, you don't try, you, you know, you're never going to go. So I just thought, what the hell? Let's just give it a go and uh, and see what happens. I had reservations from my side, thinking that I, I, I'm not going to be able to do this. This is all going to be too um, too. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm very I'm, I'm not the most disciplined person. When it, I, I, you know, I am with some aspects of my life, but for something like this, I thought, no, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be disciplined enough. You know, three months, quite a long time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fussy with my food. Um, I'm not the most, you know, I'm not the most disciplined at, uh, at exercise or anything like that. And so, yeah, that was my fear to think: would I be able to keep this up for three months? Probably not. Um, but that was more from a personal um, discipline and my own weakness point of view rather than anything else. There were certain things that kind of, um, that, that we spoke about before it started. And you said to me, if you do this, if you do that, this will happen and that will happen. And I've got to be honest, I thought, nah. I, I, I found it split up into stages. I love, I love the way that you you start it off and you, you literally dip your toe in the water to begin with. Um, you know, week one and week two are very straightforward. It's all stuff that that anyone can can do. Um, and then you just turn the volume up just a little bit each week. Um, whereas if it had been, you know, week one, right. You know, you know, you got to go and eat let, lettuce and cabbage all day, and and, and you got to go and run get ten miles. You know, it obviously would never work. So that was the that was the key to it. It, it was just stage by stage by stage, and, and 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 you know, even with the fitness, if I was being told to go go and do an hour's worth of fitness at the beginning, I couldn't do it. Um, but because it was small stages, obviously your fitness improves. Um, so, but every aspect of it was just fine tuning and just turning that power up just a little bit each week. Um, so, yeah, it was, you know, it was, it was good. It was good. My 
priority was to lose some weight. Um, you know, I'm 51 years old and I've, apart from when I've been ill, I've never lost weight in my life. I've done a diet on a Monday and stopped it on a Tuesday. Um, so to lose weight was my was my main my, my, my main goal, obviously. But then we, we, we speaking to you, you spoke about the difference of, you know, losing weight, doing a bit of exercise, drinking water, how it gives you more energy, how you sleep better. And I've been a horrendous sleeper for years. Um, you, you know, I go to bed and I'm lying there an hour and a half, two hours later. And, and you said that, you know, this will improve that. And, and I thought, no, not with me, I, I, I'm bad. And I really didn't think my sleeping would change. And I, and I was wrong. Um, and because I'm sleeping better, I've got more energy. Um, and everything kind of falls into place. You know, you lose a little bit of weight, you've got a bit more energy. You're not as tired. So suddenly you've got a bit more about you. You fit, you know, your confidence is a little bit better. And suddenly you're a little bit happier. Uh, and the whole lot kind of, um, you know, what affects one affects the other. Um, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to go run a marathon, but I have got more energy than what I had three months ago, without a doubt. Mentally, I'm stronger, without a doubt. Um, knowing that I've got a bit more, I've got a bit more determination, a bit more willpower, and I can stick to stick to these things. Um, it, it's a nice feeling, you know. I, I'd always look at these people that, you know, you know, they're down the gym on a Monday, a Wednesday, a Friday, and I kind of think, ah, oh, I couldn't do that. You know, I, I haven't got the mental toughness. To be, to, be, to be able to do that but um, I've, pr I've proved myself wrong and, and you know I kind of think if, if I if I can do it you know anyone could do it because you know I lost a stone I lost a stone it was pretty damn easy I'm not going to lie you know if you have a bad day or you know, if you go out on a Saturday night and have some beers so be it as long as you're not doing it six nights a week you know you are allowed to treat yourself yeah um, you know, you're not banning alcohol, you're not banning pizzas, you're not banning a, a, a nice Chinese, um, you know, and if you don't lose, you know, two pounds in a fortnight, you lose a pound. So what? In, in six months time, you're going to be another stone and a half lighter. And more, probably more importantly, you're not, you know, you're not putting on weight. Um, so, yeah, it's been good. Like I said, I've never lost weight in my life. And for me to lose a stone is, is a big thing, you know. Uh, it's, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I, I'm amazed how straightforward it was. You know, three pound, two pound, two pound, three pound. All of a sudden you add it up and you've lost 14 pounds. And you think, wow, that's, that's a stone. And it's a, it's a nice, it's a great feeling. You know, I've enjoyed it. I, I'm proud of what I've done. I haven't been perfect throughout the you know throughout the period um, but it still worked for me um, but will I carry it on yeah all day long I don't doubt that for, for a second I'm, I'm the most cynical person in the world you know I I don't believe in stuff uh, what works for one won't work for me when I'm the last person to, to do any kind of fad or anything any kind of stuff you know that you see online um and i thought i'll just give it a go and yeah um you know i'm, I'm over the moon that, I, that i've done it i really am and i really think that if if uh, if an essex ad like me can do it then you know people a lot smarter and more disciplined can 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 smash this without a doubt <laughs>